Hello everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and welcome to my DVD update. So I bought these movies on May 8th on a Friday morning. So actually before I left to work I figured, you know, I still got a couple of hours before I could go into work so I figured just waking up a little early on once again a nice Friday morning go to Target and just buy a few movies. So, without further ado, let's get started. So the first movie I bought from Target is The Last Five Years. Now, if you guys know, I did do my movie review for this film when it came out on VOD. I watched this movie for my PS3 when I reviewed it and I thought this was a really great musical film. I thought it was just a really well-made movie with great performances from Anna Kendrick and Jeremy Jordan. I just overall really love the musical numbers and I think it's thanks to Jeremy Jordan and Anna Kendrick because these two really are the only characters you follow so they pretty much have to hold the movie together and i thought they really excel with that it's definitely a movie for a musical fan like me because i am a huge fan of the musical genre i have such a huge appreciation for it so i thought for a musical, it really excelled. I really liked the movie and I'm glad that I got to buy it from Target for only $9.99. It was only 10 bucks to buy the last five years, so it was a very great deal. Next film I got is Gone Girl. And holy shit, this is one thin DVD. Just look at this right here. This is the last DVD copy when I went to Target actually. Because I have been wanting to buy this movie for a while because I think Gone Girl is a really intriguing, very dark, and it was just a very well told story. David Fincher did an excellent job directing Gone Girl. Cinematography looks beautiful. I thought the score from Trent Rasner just sounded so brilliant. Really fit the tone and vibe of this movie. And of course, the performances are all very great. Ben Affleck does a a great job. Roseman Pike is holy crap that she blow me away here. Tyler Perry was really good here because you know he's a comic relief and it was kind of nice to see Tyler Perry just work on a movie that isn't written by him, produced by him, direct, directed by him or anything. Uh, you know it was just kind of cool for him to do movies like these and I hope to see Tyler Perry do more of those movies because he has shown in Gone Girl that he really does have talent even when he's not writing, directing, producing or any of those things. Gone Girl kept me invested for its 2 hours and 30 minute running time. So I'm glad I own Gone Girl really well directed and it was only $9.99 at Target so a very good deal for this movie as well. The next movie I bought is Fury for only $17.99 at Target. I really enjoyed Fury. I thought it was a good well-made war action movie with fantastic performances. The five leads all do a fantastic job. Brad Pitt, Michael Pena, Logan Lerman, John Bernthal, despite the fact I really did not like his character in the movie, and Shia LaBeouf, they all give fantastic performances. David Ayer, he really wanted to show how brutal war is. It's scary. It's no fun in games. So I thought David Ayer really nailed that aspect. The overall storyline, how he told it, it was just really intriguing. Yes, it has a lot of war scenes going for it, but each of these war scenes that happen in Fury really mean something. And the finale has got to be one of the most intense finales I've seen in 2014 because when the finale was going on, my hands and my palms were just sweating like you wouldn't believe it. I was at the edge of my seat. So Fury has really great performances, really good writing, really good war scenes, and it's all around just a good, well-made movie. So I'm glad to own Fury. And now the final movie that I bought at Target, once again for $10, most of these movies I bought for $10 except for Fury, and that is The Book Thief. 
I have not seen this movie since theaters, but when I saw this movie in theaters, I was really engaged with the storyline. I love the performances. You had to, you followed the events of what this girl and everyone else had to go through during World War II. I thought it was very powerful at moments. It had me moved. Sophie Nellis, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. I mean. I thought she was fantastic in this movie. Same thing goes to Emily Watson, Jeffrey Rush. Jeffrey Rush, I loved his character. You could tell that him and Sophie Nellis' character, they had a strong bond. Just had a storyline that kept me invested. It was very well directed, very beautiful cinematography, and John Williams' score to The Book Thief is breathtaking. So. I'm glad to have owned this movie and it was only $10 at Target. So everyone, that is my DVD update and the comments down below. Let me know what did you think of the last five years, Gone Girl, Fury, and The Book Thief. Also you guys, be sure to follow me on my Facebook page at facebook.com slash 22 Tiger Dude because that's where I give you my updates on what's gonna go on on my channel. I share my videos there. Also be sure to subscribe to the Universe of Bluetubers because I do post videos there from time to time. So everyone, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.